Hi, family. I wanted to send you scriptures set to music to encourage you in regards to the coronavirus. With all the panic and mania that's trying to attack the minds of our nation with fear through this pandemic, I just wanted to remind you about God's protection for his believing ones. Be strengthened as you listen and remember to fear not and only believe. Randy and I bless you in the mighty name of Jesus. 2 Thessalonians 3.3 3, But the Lord is faithful, who will establish you and guard you from the evil one. Deuteronomy 31.6 Be strong and of good courage. Do not fear nor be afraid. For the Lord your God, He is the one who goes with you. He will not leave you nor forsake you. Isaiah 41.10 Fear not, for I am with you. Be not dismayed, for I am your God. I will strengthen you. Yes, I will help you. I will uphold you with my righteous right hand. Psalm 5, 11-12 But let all those who rejoice put their trust in you. Let them ever shout for joy, because you defend them. Let those also who love your name be joyful in you. For you, O Lord, will bless the righteous. With favor you will surround him as with a shield. Psalm 20, 1 through 2. The Lord will answer you in the day of trouble. The name of the God of Jacob will defend you. He will send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. Psalm 34, 19. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all. Psalm 46, 1. God is our refuge and strength a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear. Psalm 51, excuse me, Psalm 57, 1. Be merciful to me, O God, be merciful to me. For my soul trusts in you, and in the shadow of your wings I will make my refuge until these calamities have passed by. Psalm 59, 1. Deliver me from my enemies, O my God. Defend me from those who rise up against me. Psalm 138, 7. Though I walk in the midst of trouble, you will revive me. You will stretch out your hands against the wrath of my enemies, and your right hand will save me. Psalm 140, verse 4. Keep me, O Lord, from the hands of the wicked. Preserve me from violent men who have purposed to make my steps stumble. 1 Thessalonians 5.23 Now may the God of peace himself sanctify you completely, and may your whole spirit, soul, and body be preserved blameless until the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 4.8 We are hard-pressed on every side, yet not crushed. We are perplexed, but not in despair, persecuted, but not forsaken, struck down, but not destroyed. Second Samuel twenty two two through four. And he said, The Lord is my rock and my deliverer, the God of my strength, in whom I will trust, my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold and my refuge, my Savior, you saved me from violence. I will call upon the Lord who was worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from my enemies. John 10:28 And I will give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. Psalm 23 The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me to lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside the still waters. He restores my soul. He leads me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. You prepare a table before me in the presence of mine enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup runneth over. Surely, 
goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Psalm 121 I lift up my eyes to the mountains. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He who watches over you will not slumber. The Lord watches over you. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun will not harm you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all harm. He will watch over your life. The Lord will watch over your coming and going, both now and forevermore. Psalm 91 He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress. My God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, and from the noisome pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings thou shalt trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor for the arrow that flieth by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness, nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shalt thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the Lord which is my refuge, even the Most High thy habitation, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. For he shall give his angels charge over thee, to keep thee in all thy ways. They shall bear thee up in their hands, lest thou dash thy foot against a stone. Thou shalt tread upon the lion and adder, the young lion and the dragon shalt thou trample under feet. Because he hath set his love upon me, therefore will I deliver him. I will set him on high, because he hath known my name. He shall call upon me, and I will answer him. I will be with him in trouble. I will deliver him and honor him. With long life I will satisfy him and show him my salvation. Matthew eleven twenty-eight through 30 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, And learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and you shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. John 14, 27 Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. Not as the world gives do I give unto you. Let not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. Colossians 3, 15 And let the peace of God rule in your hearts, to the which also ye are called in one body, and be ye thankful. 2 Thessalonians 3.16 Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace always in every way. The Lord be with you all. Psalm 55.22 Cast your burden on the Lord, and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be shaken. Proverbs 12:25 Anxiety weighs down the heart, but a kind word cheers it up. 1 Peter 5:6 Therefore, for humble yourselves under the mighty hand of God, that he may exalt you in due time, casting all your care upon him, for he cares for you. Hebrews 13:5 He himself has said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. Psalm 56, 3, Whenever I am afraid, I will trust in you. Proverbs 3, 5, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him, and he shall direct and make straight and plain your paths. Romans 8, 38 through 39, For I am persuaded that neither death nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, 
nor powers, nor things present, nor things to come, nor height, nor depth, nor any other created thing shall be able to separate us from the love of God, which is in Christ Jesus our Lord. Philippians 4, 6-7 through 7. Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God, and the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, will guard your hearts and minds through Christ Jesus. I love you all.